Actress Catalina Sandino Moreno recently stopped by. Take a look. As the first Colombian to be nominated for an Oscar, she made headlines around the world with her portrayal of Maria in the film Maria Full of Grace. And now she's receiving rave reviews for her work in Medea's, which gives a contemporary take on the classic Greek tragedy Medea. Catalina Sandino Marino, welcome to Arise 360. Thank you for having Great me. Great to have you here. Yes, and this film looks very intriguing. You have to tell us more about it and your character as well. Um... Oh my God, every time they ask me to describe this film, it's so complicated. Because <laughs> it's, um, let's say it's about a family dealing with uh, uh, living in a very small, well, it's not a small house, but living in a house, there's a lot of people, but every single person that is in the house has his own world. I mean, they're very uh, far away from each other. The mother is not, she doesn't know anything about the children. The children, they have different worlds. They just go, we shot in this beautiful Santa Clarita, uh, kind of like a desert-like place. Yeah. Um, so the, the children just go out and do whatever they wanted. And the mother is, she's going through um, a moment of selfish, selfishness. Mm -hmm. And just in think about, way? she's, you know, she's deaf. She's a deaf character, and uh, she has five children. And um, a while ago, deaf people, uh, they thought that they were crazy because they didn't speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they put them in asylums. Before they realized the medical reasons behind yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So I think she was given by the family to this uh, guy, uh, played by Brianna Byrne. Mm -hmm. And um, her job was to make children. Mm -hmm. And now she's finding herself that she's, she's a woman, she feels sexy. She wants to, you know, she wants to see what's out there. Yeah. She wants yeah. uh, a little bit more from life. And I think that's, um, that's kind of like the movie's about. Well, was it difficult to play a deaf character? And what type of research did you go into studying how to even pull it off? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I went to a, a play of mm -hmm. deaf, deaf people in New York, in, in LA. And that was incredible. And I knew that it was very challenging because um, I didn't expect a lot watching the play. I'm like, let's go, let's go see the play. It yeah. was amazing. It <laughs> wow. was unbelievable. I mean, like, you could see these people um, give you a, an amazing performance without a word. I mean, every single movement was meant something. Um, yeah. So it was, I knew that it was going to be challenging. Um, so I went to the director and told him, you know what, I, I need some help. This is, gonna, this is not going to be that easy. Um, <laughs> what so kind of help? I started uh, working with a deaf woman, mm -hmm. and um, she explained to me how she communicated with people, usually writing. Um, did you learn sign language? And I did uh, work my sign language. Yeah, I wow. had to, because mm -hmm. the first time the script was sent to me, there was kind of like 80% uh, sign language. Wow. So I needed to learn not just what what was written on the page, yeah. but just to feel comfortable saying like little kind of like improvising in mm -hmm. in sign language. So wow. a lot of preparation uh, involved. What was it that drew you to the role in the first place? I mean, as an actress, I think it's very challenging yeah. when you find yourself in front of this kind of film that um, it's 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 more visual and more organic and more, um, it's easy to say, it's easy to talk and to tell you what's going on and what, what, what I like and what I don't like. Yeah. But I think for an actress is very, um, is, it was a challenge for me to do something that I just had to translate whatever I was feeling, whatever I was thinking. Without the words. Without words. And you rose yeah. to the challenge. Yeah, you definitely well, rose you. to the challenge, not only in this, but in Maria Full of Grace, which is you were the first Colombian to be nominated for an Oscar. And you are among a few actors that actually got nominated for their first debut performance in a, a huge movie like that. Yeah. How did that feel when you found out you were nominated? <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't never thought that I could be nominated for an Oscar. It was something unexpected. Mm. Uh, but now I'm starting to feel the, you know, how important 
being nominated for an Oscar is. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a big um, deal. <laughs> before it was like, okay, so, okay, so should I go? What should I need a dress? I mean, I didn't know anything. I, yeah. It was, it was, it was very shocking. Mm. A brand new experience. Um, yeah. But it's, I am very grateful for that movie. I still talk to a lot of people that worked on that film. So, mm -hmm. it was life changing, of course. And right afterwards, you uh, became one of People Magazine's most beautiful. Uh, it was the, the year following the Oscar nomination, correct? Yeah. What was that like? I mean, that must have been great for the ego. It's the same thing. It's like, <laughs> let's take a, let's take a, you know, let's do a little photo shoot. And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, little I never. Little photo shoot. I never, I one never. One of the most beautiful people in the world. No, but like, I never felt you know, the importance. Now yeah. I'm starting, you know, after so many years, I look back and then I realize how important everything was and mm. how light I took it. Yeah. Which, which is good that I took it so light. Yeah. So, you know. You didn't let it go to your head. There you no, go. No, it was good. So where is the magazine now? Did you like frame it in the house somewhere? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't know where <laughs> no. it is. No. Oh, man. I would okay. have gone out and bought like a thousand copies. Right. <laughs> no, I have no idea. All right. Well, you don't know where that is, but we do know that the movie Medeus yes. opens today right here in New York City, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Excited? So everyone. I'm very excited. I can't wait to, to see people watch it and to, to hear people's reactions. All yeah. right, well, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank All you. Right. And make sure you go thank check out you. the movie today. And we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.